Hey guys, what it do is your boy Supreme Chief of the God, man, and that new Attack on Titan episode. <laughs> smack, bro, it was smack, bro, it was smack, bro, it was beautiful, man. That's episode one, season four, part three. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god, it's oh, holy. So, I'm gonna do character by character because I feel like each character had a completely different, you know what I'm saying, scenario happening, you know. So, I want to start. By talking about one of the characters that I think, you know, uh, actually the most important character, Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager. So in this episode, Aaron Yeager is in the middle of the rumbling, right? So the the guys in the team starts questioning themselves, like, yo, like, it's almost like Aaron wants us to stop him. You know what I'm saying? Because like, why doesn't he like just remove our powers? Like he's capable of that he could just remove our abilities. Then we have little to no hope of stopping him, and then he can just bring it back after the rumbling if he wants. Or he could just you know do whatever he wants. Like he he could he could stop us if he really wants to. And as <coughs> they're having this conversation, and they're, they're doing that, um, and actually throughout the episode as well, we get like a flashback of before I actually, I'm gonna continue that, but just hold that thought, but. Hold what I just said there in one space, right, about Aaron, uh, about them thinking that, you know, Aaron wants them to stop him. And then, you know, we have flashbacks of Aaron, you know, basically saving a little kid from getting beat up and the kid was robbing, you know, they, they, his friend warned him like, yo, you might lose your other arm. But he's like, look, I ain't got a choice out here. Like, we got to survive somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody, I'd rather I die and we have some money for everybody else rather than, you know, a lot of people die because we don't have money. Uh, as the refugees, refugee camps, and they're struggling, da 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 da, and this is kind of important. I think the team of Attack on Titan, you know, really delves a lot about refugees and about you know, if you think about the Holocaust and if you think about like you know the shit that happens in Africa and all of that shit. Like it's there's a lot of it intertwined or interwoven in there. It, it, you know, it's a very political anime and and manga. It's super super political, so um, it's hard to separate you know reality reality aspects of it. From, from the narrative that it's trying to, to, to weave out here. And, and Aaron's, I don't want to say justified revenge and justified rage, but in his mind, justified rage and justified revenge. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he saves this kid, but like before he saves this kid, he's like, I already know I'm going to save this kid because, again, he can see the future and the past and the present, and he, he can see all of these things. And he's like, but why, why am I saving this kid when I know I'm going to kill him and his family and his friends and everybody here? Like, I already know the rumbling is going to happen. I already know everybody's going to die. Why am I still saving this kid? Why still can I stand here and just let this kid get beat up and, and possibly die or whatever? Like, why do I care? Like, what is wrong with me? And I think this starts to open up a, a bit about what's happening to Aaron. And I think that Aaron's rage was there, but I think... He was the conduit, right, for, for the first and the original Titan. I think this is very important here. This is very, very important because I think that's actually, I think it's, it's, it's her will more than his will that's pushing the wheel. You know what I'm saying? That's turning the wheel. You, know what I'm you get that? You get that? Come on, man. You get that? Um, and I think Namir, her name, you know what I'm saying? Yamir, sorry. Yamir Fritz. I think Yamir Fritz's will and rage are being a slave since she got her powers. She was a slave before she got the powers. Then she got the powers and she was still enslaved and she was still forced to do shit. And all of that shit, she's, and everybody's just been using her for a thousand years, bro. Everybody. She's just been a slave for a thousand years, reconstructing and, and deconstructing Titans all the fucking time for a thousand fucking years, bro. And she's pissed. She's fucking angry. And we notice it when, when Aaron gives her that freedom. She, I think, is the one that's actually pushed Aaron to to the brink of to everything. She's the one that's so enraged and so pissed off. And Aaron already was, but I think Aaron was soft, bro. I think Aaron wanted to stop several times. But I think whenever she he wanted to stop, she reminded of him how angry he should be. Of how angry she is. Because I think once he became the founding titan and the attack titan, I think they collided. And I think she actually, because, okay, so you got to understand that whoever has the attack titan basically controls time, time, whoever has the founding titan controls everything else, right? And I think because once he became the founding titan, she, I actually think, is the one that pushed his memories back to himself and to the other titans. And then, you know what I'm saying? I think she actually plays 
a vital, vital role here. And you see those flashes of her, even when he's like, saves the kid and shit, and he sees a flash of Ymir just there. Like, those loads of flashes of Ymir in his head, it would, next to him, it's like the two of them are in cahoots, it's both of the rage combined. And, and, and he was the first person to give her that freedom. And I think she took full advantage of it, and she is rampaging for the thousand years of pain that she had to suffer, for the thousand years of being told what to do that she had to suffer. And Aaron didn't do that. Aaron didn't force her and bend her to his will. Aaron said, let me do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do anything. I'll handle it. I'll take the pressure. Now they both share the founding titan. So they both are running this shit, this operation together. It's a tag team. You know what I'm saying? And... And I think you see it by the way it's portrayed via the images of Yamir popping up. And even when, you know, when she, the, 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 when the guys, are, this is what I bring it back. This is what I bring, see, see, this is what I reel it back. So remember when I said how the guys thought that like she, he wanted them to stop him, et cetera, et cetera. I think he does. I think ultimately he does. But I think his will combined with Yamir's is saying, fuck that shit. We don't do it. You know what I'm saying? And I think this is, this is the thing. I think as soon as he became the full founding Titan, there was no turning back it was gone i think her will almost overpowered his will you know what i'm saying and i think they have similar wills but i think he would he would have folded i think aaron was going to fold but i think ymir is the one that's actually keeping them together that's keeping everything together and and telling aaron we gotta fucking do this shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> and that's why when you see now well, after they said all that shit about like oh you know aaron wants us to stop him and they go into uh the 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 you know the limbo world or whatever the Amir's world uh and they go in there and basically you know they see Aaron as a child and this is important they see Aaron as a child and then when they get closer and further that sounds crazy but they get closer and then they end up just back where they started so when they get closer and further um they they see also Yamir and then Aaron starts to speak and telling them like yo like you know I I I I don't want to take freedom away from you guys you know what I'm saying uh so that's why I didn't take your powers I don't want to take freedom from you the same way I have I I'm free to go and 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 continue the rumbling the same way you're free to try to stop me you know what I'm saying I I don't want to take away the freedom from from my people I don't want to take away freedom from us. You know what I'm saying? They took away our freedom. I'm not about to take away our freedom. So you do as you please. Uh, I'm not going to stop you from doing as you please. You know what I'm saying? Um, and But the only way to stop me from doing what I please is by killing me. And that's what he tells them. So that's like, you know what I'm saying? And that's the conversation. And Ymir is right next to him. And, you know, I think Ymir being next to him is, I think, showcasing that it's both of the wills, both of the goals, both of the... the it's a tag team thing. It's not a Aaron forcing Yamir to do this type of shit. I think it's Yamir and Aaron wanting to do this. And I think Aaron is hesitant at times, but Yamir has no hesitation. Because remember, when she when he freed Yamir, Yamir was angry. Like, she was pissed off. She was fucking raging. She was like, fucking, finally, finally, somebody's fucking freeing me. Somebody's finally helping. Like, she's been pissed. She's been angry. So it's, it's, oh man, it was just beautiful, man. It was just beautiful to see, bro. And then, you know, when obviously they, they continue the rumbling and Aaron is almost mindlessly just doing it, bro. Just, just gave up on his humanity for the sake of this. You know what I'm saying? I got to wipe the world. You know what I'm saying? Because I want this shit to last for thousands of years. And then, and then you go back to like a plan they had and, and, and how everyone was like, oh yeah, you know, we just partial rumbling. You destroy enough to cause everybody to fear us and, 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 and to, to keep away and to not try shit against us. But, uh, you know, and this is an airfield here and there's this here. We got to just stop these things and then we good. Aaron in his head is like, are you all crazy? Like, he's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And his head is like, are you all crazy? Partial? If I do partial, if I, do, if I half-ass this shit, bro, it's going to repeat. Whether it's 100 years from now, 1,000 years from now, it's going to repeat. Motherfuckers going to come back for blood. I just got to kill everybody. And the beautiful thing here is, you know what I'm saying, when we reach like the the end towards the climax of the episode, the short film, whatever, um, and 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 the soldiers are like crying and shit, and they're like, listen, our hatred is the reason their hatred is is coming back to hunt us. You know what I'm saying? We treated these people like they're not people, like they're not human. And now some of them have decided to wreak havoc and revenge. The rumbling is our debt to pay for what we did for them for the past thousand years, for, for, for the cruelty that we showcased these people for the past few hundred years and, 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 and what we did to them. 
And then when they thought all hope was lost, the same people they hated, the same people that 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 that, that they, they mistreated and, and caged and, and and all of that shit. Those are the people that are coming back against their own. You know what I'm saying? In order to prevent the rumbling. They're like, why are why are they why why are aliens trying to prevent the rumbling? You know what I'm saying? Because we already know that some of the aliens are like, man, fuck that world, man. You know what I'm saying? Let them burn in hell, bro. Yeah, you risk, baby. <coughs> People like Flock. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker Flock just won't die. <laughs> I got to talk about Flock, man. But it was beautiful, man. It was just, you know what I'm saying? And then and then they, 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 the guys came through with the airship, you know what I'm saying? And they, they go into battle, bro. And they're fighting the Beast Titan and all of that. And the thing is... Ymir and 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 uh and and Aaron are controlling the founding titan through uh Zeke. So Zeke is actually not dead. Zeke is still in the founding titan. They just overruled him. You know what I'm saying? Because Ymir has the ultimate power, and Ymir decided to share her ultimate power with Aaron Jaeger. You know what I'm saying? So Ymir was obviously holding back some shit from from Zeke because again, because once the she and 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 uh and Aaron combined, you know what I'm saying? When she and Aaron combined, I think she was able to see the past, present, and future as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. And so she was holding out for Aaron. Like it's crazy. It's weird. It's weird because the timeline and times and you know anything to do with time and and all of that shit just becomes confusing as hell. But that's you know what I'm saying. I think that's what's happening. But Aaron Yeager, that's basically Aaron Yeager's story. Like Aaron Yeager was angry and just enraged and just you know what I'm saying. He like he he even says it like. When when we finally went out to the world, you know, for me, like Armin's like I I was disappointed that the world wasn't as empty as Armin's books had it. You know what I'm saying? I was disappointed that those people were out there living and using us and baiting us and and, and I was disappointed because I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to be this angry. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna I didn't wanna end the world. I didn't wanna have to burn everything and make it the way our dream was you know what i'm saying this is not our dream our dream was to go see ice and go see and, and go see the desert and go see and go see the ocean empty lifeless and repopulate the planet with us eldians but then to discover that no we're just fucking guinea pigs bro and the world exists outside at large and they've been all conniving to 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 use and manipulate us and control us and contain us i am not having it oh my god i would turn the world into the dream i dreamed of anyways we need boys from gd government i'm out eric yeah make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe man sheesh